hello everyone welcome to content guruji so today in this video i'll be teaching you how to design an nro in metal studio so first what you need to do is go to the build menu okay and here you select the build nano structure uh, last video i already taught you about the single wall and double multi walls and to how to design it now you'll click on the nano row okay so this is the n value and m value i already told you about this what is the n value and n m value if you want to see i'll again will show you what is the nnm so n will give you the overall size of your nano tube or the nano rope but m will give you the chiral angle or the twisting here okay so the default value for n is from well, like it is one or well, the minimum value and the default value it will take six and the m value is uh, minimum is zero and default it will take six so whatever width you want you can give it here suppose i want four over here and this is the cc bond length because i have selected carbon and hydrogen termination if you want you can give uh, suppose i'm giving both and i want to give this hydrogen termination number of nanotube six if you want to increase the number of nanotube in the nano rope you can increase or decrease whatever you want okay suppose i'm taking nine and this is the separation between the each tubes okay now click on the build menu now see on the screen you having three to five three eight one nine nine nano uh, this rope right you can see nine nano rope right just change the menu and the display style uh, make it the ball and stick model so can uh, you can see clearly uh, i have terminated with hydrogen okay whatever termination you want you can use uh, at the both hand i have terminated with hydrogens how to verify that you see this white color these are hydrogens okay just click in this white uh, element since see you, we have so many of nano or this robo here <laughs> this display even though the system has 32 gb of ram but still it is you know stuck that is the power like you know the space this nano rope is taking in your system so be careful while designing these kind of stuff until you are having a good system okay see so uh, this uh, hydrogen is selected now you can see this is hydrogen right okay so this is hydrogen and this gray color is carbon and whatever uh, like system we are having the nan nine nan <coughs> so these are the nine nano rope okay so this is the way you can design the nano rope okay now we'll uh, uh, i'll teach you how to design a nano ribbon okay so see this is the nano kind of nano rod also you can say nano. so you have multi you know stuff here so we'll go for the nano ribbon okay so what we can do is we'll take another file okay and suppose uh, i want to design a nano ribbon of uh, by like phenyl system repeating in you know, a one dimensional chain so what we can do is first we'll design any like whatever interest you are having my interest is just assume i want to study with this kind of stuff bending the repeated in the one dimension see nano ribbon is kind of one dimensional system nano seat is a two dimensional system and then we have a three dimensional system so don't get confused nano rod is a tube kind of system which will be in repeating in one dimension only right so this is our benzene unit now i want to repeat this to make a nano ribbon i hope this bond lengths are properly given here how okay so it's huge okay i have to decrease these values so first i will make a good input okay now it is 1.4 okay fine good structure to start with so i want a system i want to uh, this i'll copy it so first what we'll see is the distance between this and this this is what 3.3 angstrom so what we have to do is we have to 
see i want to connect two benzene rings first technically okay if i'm taking the unit cell edge length three angstrom what will happen that carbon will overlap right but i want to have a bond length around 1.4 angstrom something around so it is three uh, that let is the distance between that carbon and i want a bond length of 1.4 i will add 1.4 in the three so it will be 4.4 right so i'll build a crystal how to do that go to the build menu crystals build crystal and then take the default and here we have to take three angstrom it was the distance between two carbon and bond length between that you want as 1.4 so 1.4 plus 3 is what 4.4 i will give and here other two dimension i want to keep far away so that there is no interaction because i want to design a nano ribbon fine angles i'll take 90 that's okay now go to the display style and change the color so i have changed the color from here now you need to brief the benzene that you have copied already okay i have to copy this benzene i have to paste it over here okay now we are having this benzene we need to align this I hope it is properly aligned now, right? Oh, it is lying there. I want it. See, our axis is here. I want in the x the propagation in the x plane. So I will keep accordingly. Okay, here you can see, right? This is g axis. This is y. This is y, and that is the x. I want to propagate this in the x. So I want to keep in this way whatever you wish you can do there is no uh, state and forward rule for this okay okay now if i repeat this lattice what will happen you'll see uh, in x axis will repeat right so i have repeated in the a direction that is the x axis so as we have given the distance between this and this at the mass how much 1. Point, around 1.4 right click here we will join this uh, this is one way and another way is what go to the um, I'll first we will finish this and we will see so this distance is around how much 1.44 right that's what we have assume now the next step is what see all of the bond will assume as double bond okay so we'll go to the modify menu bond type and we'll click on the partial level bond everywhere fine now click on the find symmetry we'll impose symmetry fine and see we need to add hydrogens over here so we can click here auto higher update hydrogens uh, i don't know hydrogen is not getting updated because we have selected the um, partial double bonds over here okay fine so manually we'll do this will add hydrogen everywhere we'll select it will make it single one itself and we'll do that okay so this will be double one this will be double one and this will be double one or there it can be like benzene rings repeating whatever way it is you can make it okay now one hydrogen will be coming here so click on auto hydrogen oh, not taking no problem we'll add it manually first what we'll do is you see we have so many lattices here now what to do into two lattices so i'll make it in one dimension uh, i'll make it in one dimension fine so it be easy for you and for me. Fine. Now we'll add hydrogen everywhere. Okay, since you can see there are two hydrogens are added. 
So I have to delete one, go to the symmetry, make it P1, then delete one of the hydrogens from the HNA3. Fine, now we are having a perfect system. Go to the symmetry, impose and symmetry and impose it. Okay. So this is what? This is the nano ribbon. Okay. In this, right? So this is your nano ribbon. Or if you want to see in the other system, let us see. The distance between these two uh, layer like the ribbon is huge so that they are not interacting because in mirror studio everything will be in three dimension but we have to design in a such a way so that it is a kind of 2d fine so this is our two dimensional nano ribbon this is the way you can design the nano ribbon in your metal studio thank you for watching